On Monday, Brandon Johnson will be the first Chicago mayor living on the west side of the city. A perspective and unique experience, he says, will impact his leadership. Tonight, the husband and father of three getting personal about how his family and faith will help guide him. And he reveals a lighter side as he ponders the enormity of running the third largest city in the country. Hey, hey congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so uh, much. Mayor-elect, soon to be Mayor Johnson. Right. Congratulations. Thank how you, you doing today? Feeling good. I mean, obviously, I'm still tripping a little bit that we actually uh, pulled this off, so it's yeah. still sinking in. Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson says he spent his whole life preparing for this monumental moment. We met up with him on the fifth floor of his transition headquarters, and it will also be the fifth floor of City Hall, where the transformation of his legacy will be cemented in history. He is reminded of what President Biden told him during their first meeting in Selma, Alabama, commemorating Bloody Sunday. I'll never forget his words, though. He was quite encouraging. You, know, you only get a few seconds with the president. And he said, Mayor of Chicago, huh? He said, that job is harder than mine. He said that local government is one of the most powerful ways in which you can influence the daily lives of individuals. Advice. He says he appreciates and will use as he tries to navigate the challenging and daunting task of tackling many issues facing the city. The mayor-elect went to Washington last week to meet with lawmakers. What is your plan to address the influx of migrants coming here to Chicago? I don't want the people of Chicago, and particularly black Chicago, to feel that they are not seen or heard. It's important that we remain a welcoming city. And so in other words, we have to make sure that we are providing support for our family and for our families and those who wish to call the city of Chicago their home. What's the biggest misconception about you? I believe that, that, that some individuals have seen my body of work over the course of my career as a teacher, as an organizer, and as a Cook County Commissioner, and they've made some assumptions about where my priorities lie. And based upon my priorities, that somehow that, that means that they are excluded. And that's not who I am. Mayor-elect Johnson says he learned compassion and grace from his parents, and they have been an inspiration even in the darkest times. The chaos and crimes at the hands of young people has been unsettling and disheartening for the former youth pastor. He has this message for the young people set on breaking the law. I love you. I see you. I hear you. I value you. And knock it off. What plans do you have to assure people that the city is safe? Yeah, it's a layered plan. I mean, it certainly is going to require that law enforcement um, have hyper concentration in the areas or throughout the city of Chicago where there is a greater propensity for violence to take place. But we also have to make sure that we're including our faith community, our violence interrupters, our business communities. <laughs> He says it was his own teenage son who made him realize the impact of his election. Dad, before you make an announcement, I need a little bit of time to adjust at Kenwood because he said, I need to know who is real in my life. He says he is grateful for his family's love and support, especially his wife of 25 years, Stacy who he describes as his confidant and compass. Here's the part that, that we're really excited about and maybe tripping about a little bit at the same time. We hadn't realized that my wife made history. And so she would be the first black first lady in the history of Chicago. She looked me in the face and said, you may have won, but I made history. <laughs> Coming up tomorrow during our special coverage of the inauguration, Mayor-elect Johnson addresses the pressing issues facing the city on day one and what he thinks it will take to be a successful mayor. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.